Greetings. And welcome to the pending ceremony for the Cuyahoga Community College Associate Degree Nursing Class of Spring 2021. At this time, I would like to thank the executive leadership for their continued support of the Nursing Center of Excellence. Dr. Alex Johnson, President, Cuyahoga Community College, Dr. Karen Miller, Provost and Chief Academic Officer. Dr. Lisa Williams, President, Eastern Campus. Dr. Donna Imhoff, President, Western Campus. And Drs. Denise McCory and Terry Pope uh, couldn't be with us today, but we want to thank them as well. I would also like to thank all members of the nursing staff, faculty, and administrative team, and any other college administration, administrators and staff members who have supported us on our journey. As the Dean of Nursing, I would first like to congratulate each and every one of you today on your success. I also commend you all on the energy and perseverance that it was required of you to make it to this day, especially during a worldwide emergency. These final semesters of your nursing school journey will be ones that you'll soon not forget. As I look out across this sea of cars, I feel the excitement that surrounds you all today. And this moment that you are sharing with your loved ones present and those that may be at home or in your hearts. You embark on your journey at a time when being a nurse means more than ever and the critical role you will play to the care of our community. This is a celebration of your accomplishments but also a celebration of those family and friends that supported you and encouraged you as you work towards achieving this remarkable goal. Please applaud and acknowledge those there next to you and anyone else who has uplifted you during this journey. time, I would like to introduce Dr. Johnson to bring his greetings. Good evening, everyone. Well, first of all, let me uh, acknowledge uh, an individual that has been instrumental in ensuring that um, students at the institution majoring in nursing uh, get the support that they need financially to attain their dreams and their aspirations. Christine Taylor from Medical Mutual. Christine, please stand, be recognized. She and her colleagues at that organization, that company, are responsible for providing support for over 116 nursing students throughout the course of the last decade or so. Thank you. Just recently, we received another gift from them of $1 million uh, to provide additional scholarship support, emergency funding, and to help build out our food pantry at the Western Campus. Christine, thank you so very much for being here. And please extend our regards to our good friends at Medical Mutual. I want to. Uh, take a point of personal privilege at this time and recognize the tremendous students who are graduating this evening. Uh, first of all, I want to acknowledge your success. That goes without saying. I also want to recognize that you had a lot of support along the way to get it done. But I want you to know that a year, almost a year and a half to this day, you were instrumental 
in helping us open up the institution, not only for nursing students, but other individuals who needed hands-on and skills training. So as a, as a result of your commitment, as a result of your prodding and your pushing us to do the right thing, there are many students that are standing on your shoulders today who can realize their dreams in the midst of one of the greatest challenges this world has ever seen. So I want to take this time to thank you, uh, and I'm going to ask everyone else in our audience to recognize you as well with the round of applause. Now, if I were to engage in uh, some of the pleasantries uh, and the accolades that you have coming to you, I would be redundant. But I will simply say to you all that you stayed the course, you fought a heck of a fight, and you made it possible to ensure that you not only attain your dreams, but the dreams that we have for you and the dreams that your families have for you. As the president of this college, I am so very, very proud of your achievement this evening. And my hope is that you will continue to bless this world, not only with your tenacity, but your gifts of nursing and taking care of those in need. God bless you all, and please enjoy the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Next, Amanda Gilliam will offer class reflections. <laughs> so I'm going to start out by saying I've never spoke to rows of cars, so this is something different for me. But I'd like to say it is such a great honor that I present to all of you on such a memorable day. I'm ex extremely proud of each and every one of these men and women here with us. And to have this opportunity to speak on behalf of our journey is an absolute privilege. Let's take a moment and reflect on how we got here today. The sleepless nights care plans, tears, and more importantly, the laughter. Our journey towards nursing didn't start the day we began the nursing program, but instead it was the day we were able to answer the question, why did we choose nursing? It's a question we get asked and will get asked throughout our lives. As we first started in our nursing journey, our answers were always very similar. We wanted to help people. A family member was in the field or a nurse had an impact on our lives in the past. As we answer this question now, why did we choose nursing? Proudly we can say nursing chose us. Those experiences and those reasons were just the catalyst to excel and succeed in the field that we we're all meant to be in. My own journey here is a tribute to the teachers, staff, and fellow students here at Tri-C. Almost seven years ago, I lost my husband in the Army. I moved back to Ohio and basically lived in my bedroom for two years. I had no idea who I was without him and what I was meant to achieve in my life. I remember always wanting to go into nursing after the amazing nurses not only took care of him at the highest level of care, but also held my hand as he passed. I started some basic courses at Tri-C, but I never expected to be here today, graduating. I met one of my best friends who is graduating today in English. She was so confident in herself and sure in her career of nursing. Her confidence and, and intelligence inspired me to start pursuing nurse, nursing. As a kid who was never, I mean never, good at school, I thought I would attempt it and give up. If it wasn't for you, Liz, I wouldn't be or have ever felt good enough to keep going. Throughout my time here, I've had teachers who have not only motivated me, but excited me for my career choice. They took time out of their lives to get to know me and help in ways that would bring success. I know we all felt the pain of nursing school and complained, cried, or had full Britney meltdowns, but if it wasn't for the teachers that worked so hard for us, we would not be here. Because of you and my fellow students, I found who I am again. I found the purpose in my life and I began living. These past two years have been a test for each and every one of us. 
from the first day of class and feeling overwhelmed and already feeling as if you're failing or failing on clinicals, care plans, labs, and test outs, late night studying and all-nighters, mental breakdowns, and the foreseen, unforeseen COVID. We're going to be some of the strong, strongest and fearless nurses. When the world stopped, we continued and pushed through fear, doubts, and uncertainty. The pandemic changed not only our day-to-day -day lives, but it changed each and every one of us. We learned to rely on each other and that we had to support and uplift each other. If it wasn't for the amazing men and women here, I wouldn't have gotten through each semester. No nurse left behind. They say friend, the friends you make in college are the friends you have for life. Personally, I couldn't ask for better friends. The unique thing about the class of 2021 is how much they all care, not just for their friends and family, but their patients and their coworkers. In the first semester, I had a professor explain how important empathy was. She would talk about her grandmother and the care she had to provide. Every patient I had since that semester, I asked myself how she would expect and want me to take care of her amazing grandmother. I've personally watched throughout my clinicals that same empathetic and caring spirit in each, uh, each classmate I've been able to work with. As we all graduate today, a new journey has started. Even though we graduate Tri-C, our education and learning doesn't stop here for us. We will continue to learn and grow into brilliant, competent, and fearless nurses. We will look on our, ed on our time in education at Tri-C and remember through it all, we did it. So as we start out in nursing roles and finding ourselves overwhelmed or shedding a cheer in the med room, whisper to yourself, through all ops obstacles and against all odds, I did it. Thank you, Amanda. Nursing chose us. I love that. We are so very fortunate here at Tri-C to have generous donors that support all of our students with scholarships that allow them to reach this point in their journey. You will see some of our scholars today wearing colored stoles during the ceremony. At this time, I would like to recognize any scholarship recipients and the donors that have joined us today. The nursing pinning is a time-honored celebratory tradition that acknowledges nursing graduates and symbolically welcomes them into the nursing profession. The significance of the pin can be found in your program. And we will now begin our pinning tradition. Please exit your cars and line up safely distance to the far end and look for our line leaders to direct you to the stage. Uh -huh. Nidera Brown. Thank you. Tracy Sutchin. Amanda Gilliam. Hey. 
Haley Dinas. Elizabeth Black. <laughs> Jasmine Smith. Rehana Abdullah. <laughs> Shamil Shaheen. Summer Shaheen. <laughs> Matthew Davy. Mackenzie Sargent. Andrea Hartzell. Ashley Hudson. <laughs> Mariana Polichuk. Dante. Katoon. <laughs> Julia Stolpen. Kayla Stewart. Kristen Roberts. Natalie Schweitzer. Thank 
how you say it right. Fola Sharde, Obasa. Andrew McSherry. Hi, Safa Montasser. Okay. Safa Montasser. Safa Montasser. Danielle Pindor. It's Katherine Gajowski. Katherine Gajowski. Shay Wagner. Samoylich. Yeah. Jenna Samoylich. Jenna Leah Bullet. Adriana Pedreza. Brittany Wozniki. <laughs> Dylan Hanks. Isaiah Lopez. <laughs> Brett Bartone. Abba Emesa Pencil. <laughs> Hope Mason. Talia Stevenson. <laughs> Destiny Bass. <laughs> Destiny Bass. Lindsay Fuller. <laughs> Brianna Peters.
Kara DeMont. Miranda Kovac. <laughs> Sarah White. Tamika Landon. Woohoo! Yay, me! <laughs> Reem Ali. Miranda Webb. <laughs> Melanie Sumlin. Simon Brown. <laughs> Kristen Bolenbacher. Michelle Becker. <laughs> Gabrielle Volpat. Danetta Darden. <laughs> Dati Franzik. Manju Jagari. <laughs> Me Ora Jones. Charnetta Chandler.
fun up there. Sarah El Ghali. Anwar Dias. Noel Abu Shatara. <laughs> Selena Smith. Brittany Houchins. <laughs> Jahan Fazio. Kayla Sargent. <laughs> Brianna Mullen. Jennifer Sharp. <laughs> Linda Samuel Raj. <laughs> Jordan Pre. Jordan Prevo. Kyra Hatton. <laughs> Danielle Page. Congratulations. Thank you. Bill Banos Martinez. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. Oh, Jacinia. <laughs> Jacinia Curillo. Emily Maxwell. <laughs> 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 
Selena Iwis. Manny Garcia. Anthony Pugh. Darby Gravino. <laughs> Natalie Rivera. Kathleen Hanna. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you here. <laughs> Emily Smith. Oh, Renee Owoyeli. Renee Owoyeli. Daniels. Thank you. Kiara Daniels. Kayla Henderson. <laughs> Latasha Wade. Rhiannon Nunez. <laughs> Livia Moga. Melania Duncan. <laughs> Alex Rivera. Each semester, we seek to honor graduates that have achieved excellence and commitment during their time in the nursing program. Today, we recognize seven graduates. Our Clinical Excellence Award is presented to those graduates demonstrating the five C's of clinical excellence. Competence, compassion, conscientiousness, commitment, and confidence. I am proud to acknowledge the following graduates for this award. Alex Daniel Rivera.
Benedict Toth. Trinity McCarty. Sean Kelly. Sarah Monique El Ghali. Jared Cruz. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations. I didn't see where he was. The Spirit of Nursing Award is given in recognition of outstanding leadership, commitment, and nurturing spirit within the field of nursing. We are proud to present a deserving graduate with this award today. This award is being presented to a graduate that has been described as demonstrating overwhelming professionalism, caring in the role of student nurse, and committed to the Tri-C nursing program. This student is very dedicated to learning exactly what a nurse is and does, is kind, compassionate, and began their nursing journey as a blank slate with minimal knowledge of the nursing profession has served in two officer roles in the Student Nurses Association and participated in numerous SNA projects. Our Spirit of Nursing Award for Spring 2021 is Alex Daniel Rivera. Congratulations. The Dean's Award is given in recognition of outstanding academic performance, a commitment of service to others. I am proud to present a very worthy graduate with this award today. Our Dean's Award recipient is described as a hard worker and remains engaged seeking learning opportunities to help develop nursing skills. This graduate is a wonderful student to have in clinical, always has a smile on their face and approaches clinical and nursing school with an optimistic, positive approach. Talks to nurses and others regarding their positive experiences at Tri-C. Received multiple compliments from the nurse manager and the nurses on the hospital floor. It is my pleasure to present Andrew Pavel with the Spring 2021 Dean's Award. <laughs> Mr. Pavel is currently deployed. He is an active member of the United States Air Force. He will receive his award, yes, yes, at a later time. Each spring, we honor a faculty member chosen by the submissions thank you, from the nursing student body. Students are asked to nominate a faculty member that has impacted them during their nursing school journey. Here's what was said about our spring 2021 honoree. Went above and beyond to ensure that we were okay and understanding the material even when we met having to do class online. Took time outside of class to reach out and make sure all of our questions were answered. Was always available to talk to. Always made us dig deeper to ensure that we weren't just memorizing, but we were learning and retaining and understanding the information provided. 
genuinely did not want to see us fail, and the compassion showed was heartwarming. Showed me that you don't always have to assume that everyone has the same knowledge, and that it's okay not to know as long as we are willing to learn. The kindness and caring is something that will stay with me throughout my career. Really made a lasting impact in my life. It is my extreme honor to award Professor Dr. Zenora Thompson as this year's distinctive faculty. Thank you, everybody. We have a small departure from our printed program. At this time, I would like to introduce Andrea Hudson-Smith to give our Florence Nightingale Pledge. We ask that any nurses in the audience and our graduates to please stand and read along. It is located in your program. <laughs> I'll give the nurses that are in the car a second to get out so they can read along with us. And graduates with as well. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence, I'm gonna take this down, all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen, and take my share of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill wherever they may be and whenever they are in need. I will be active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of humankind. While your nursing school journey has reached a non-traditional ending, carry with you the knowledge and skills that have brought you this far. Be reminded though, your licensure exam still awaits you. <laughs> As you begin your new role in practice and the new adventures that await, this could be the first step in your nursing career or a place where you find that you can change lives. Either way, the foundation you have built here will support you for years to come. On May 12th, we celebrated the 201st birthday of Florence Nightingale. The year 2020 was identified as the year of the nurse, and that honor has been extended into 2021. I wonder why. <laughs> How fitting is it that we celebrate nursing at a time in history that nurses are serving on the front lines during a pandemic impacting the lives of all. I would like to close our ceremony today with a quote from Florence Nightingale. I attribute my success to this. I never gave or took any excuse. To our new graduates as they enter the profession and any nurses here today, 
let these words light your path. Let this always guide you in your lifelong nursing practice. I want to just take this moment to congratulate each and every one of you, spring 2021, graduating class of Cuyahoga Community College Nursing Center of Excellence. I want to congratulate all the graduates again, and for all of you who are here celebrating their joy. I want to thank you for joining us and for your continued dedication to, success, to the success of our students in the Nursing Center of Excellence. I'd ask that any of our scholarship recipients, anyone with a stole, please make your way to the stage at this time for one final picture. Stay healthy and be safe. Congratulations to you all.